Hey, and welcome to the Crew Podcast. We are the hottest podcast rocking right now. We are currently looking for six amazing hosts to join our family for season two that will kick off February the 1st, 2024. If you're looking for an opportunity to allow your voice, your perspective, and your brand to be heard around the world and seen around the world, then join the crew podcast. Aspiring Authors Magazine is a founding sponsor for Da Crew Podcast. Get featured inside the magazine and allow your voice to be heard around the world. Aspiring Authors Magazine is an international magazine founded in May of 2020 by Queen Angela. Get featured. Publishing. We are committed to helping our authors reach their goals and pursue their dreams of becoming published authors. We work closely with each author to ensure a successful publishing experience and dedicated to helping them tell their stories in the most impactful and meaningful ways. So stop procrastinating and let's get started with writing their book. Hey everyone, this is your girl SC Bookout 843 Catrice, and it's another Saturday night. And it's a cold Saturday night down here in South Carolina, cold and rainy. So, guess what, you guys? This episode right here is called the housekeeping episode. I'm going to tell you about everything that I have going on for the remainder of the month all the promos that we're having for the crew podcast, everything that you need to know to market your brand, yourself, your book, your organization, or guess what? Just to get your idea out there. We have platforms, so many of them, and I know one of them is going to connect with you, okay? So, like I said, tonight is a housekeeping episode. So I'm going to tell you about all the things, okay? So starting this Tuesday, you guys know that I normally get to interview the crew podcast, each one of the hosts. Well, you guys, the tables are going to be turned and it's my turn to be interviewed. So our overseer, our visionary, the queen of collaboration herself, Angela Thomas-Smith, will interview me because it's my turn, <laughs> okay? So you're going to learn about my journey of literacy and urban books and just how I got to where I am right now, you know? What motivates me, what keeps me going, my favorite author, my favorite genre, so you really get to know about me, okay? So that's this coming Tuesday, November 14th at 8 p.m. And guess what? I'm going to give you guys a chance to submit some questions. So if you want to ask me a question about anything to do with urban lit, publishing, anything to have to do with literature, email friends at gmail.com. And I will go in the air and I'll give you an answer. Okay. So we talk about November 14th, meet the host. The next thing, our November magazine is available now, you guys. It is awesome being a part of this magazine for so many years. November is out. Okay. So because this is SC Book Gals and Friends, I'm going to tell you that guess what? I have my November recommendations in there for family literacy. 
There's a section for children, a section for our middle grades, which are our mid-teens. Do we have one for our young adults and one for our adults? And there are books that I even read to my own child or plan to read with her. So that's in our November 2023 magazine now. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you type that in and you'll be able to direct to get your own personal copy. Okay. Also, you could check out some of our past magazine articles are also on Amazon, you guys. Yes, ebook Amazon. Okay. So on top of that, you have your opportunity to showcase your brand. If you want to know more about that, hit up the crew. You have our Facebook page. We'll get that information to you. We are read throughout the world. <laughs> no, I did not say the U.S. I said throughout the world. Okay, you guys. So we talked about Meet the Host. November 14th at 8. We talked about Inspiring Authors Magazine, November issue, which is out now. Right there at the bottom is the link. So on November 26th, that is going to be the Inspiring Authors Magazine nomination show. Yes, nomination show. So if you have a favorite author, a favorite book, a favorite podcast, a favorite, um, let's see what we have, authorist, author, podcast, genre, books, make sure that you have your list ready because you will get the chance to nominate those authors or those books and the winners will receive an award just like we did last year. But this year, I think we're going to do virtual. And you're going to want to get your ticket. You do not want to miss this, okay? So nominee show, November 26th. I'm going to give you the whole entire process, how you can nominate yourself. Yes, there's nothing wrong with tooting your own horn. Because guess what? You need to toot your horn first, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. So. I'm going to give you the breakdown of how you can nominate yourself, nominate your book, nominate your company, everything, okay? So let's run again. November 14th, meet the host, me. November 26th, the award ceremony show, okay? The nomination show, not the ceremony, but the nomination, okay? I know, I gave y'all a lot. So let's take a breather, take a little step back, okay? So our next thing, you guys, we have on November 25th, my next author's name is Dr. Shante Jones. And we're talking mystery, you guys. Now, that's not a genre that I normally favor, but I am excited to talk about this book. It is called The Lock Room, a Tia Taylor Mystery. So I'm going to be chatting with Dr. Shante James, and that is November 25th, two Saturdays from now at 8 p.m., okay? Now, I have another author that I'm going to be talking to on November 28th. Her name is Stacy Willis, and she's going to be talking about her children's book, oh, the children's book called My Friend Bigfoot. So gather your kids around. This may be a book that you can get your kid for the Christmas holidays. Because like I tell y'all, every year I get my baby girl a book. I get my nephews a book. I even get my soon-to-be 21-year-old a book. Literacy is the gift that continues to give, okay? Electronics can only be given. It gives a gift, but once the power goes out and when it's 
not charge that gift is done with, but the literacy gives the gift that keeps on giving. Okay. So you guys, we're going to take a short little break and I got some more stuff to talk to you about. So come back, come back, come back and we'll talk some more. Okay. Hey, you guys, we are back. We are back. So we talked about the shows that are coming up. We have talked about what else we talked about. We've talked about the nominations. Hold up. I forgot a show, you guys. <laughs> Y'all saw it. <laughs> On November 22nd, Thursday, this is where my heart first, well, yeah, this is where my heart first started in the library system. It was middle schoolers and young adults. For some reason, people forget about this age group. And they only talk about this age group when it comes down to trouble, which I totally hate. So I'm going to give you some recommended reads that I have given to the teens that visit my library here in Charleston, South Carolina, and ones that I've given to my son or have read on my own, okay? So that is November 22nd. It is my middle school young adult edition. It's not always about us parents. So now we're going to get true with it, and we're going to break it down for the teens and get them some books that they would like, okay? Now, I understand that some parents may feel I don't want my kids to read this book, but I will tell you as a parent myself, some of these topics are conversation starters. And I love that. They placed me in an uncomfortable position where I, I had to have conversations with my then 13, 14 year old. And now I got an eight year old. And I'm gonna have to do this conversation again. But nine times 10, how do we she act? She might be leading the conversation. If you met my child, you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> okay. So that is November 22nd at 8 p.m. It's a middle grade and young adult edition of SC Book Gals and Friends. Okay. Um, uh, what else do we have going on? Um, we have the 50 Queens projects that's going on. Um, we have the Poet and Portress of the Year going on. If you look at the bottom of the screen, there's a form for you to actually do that. I know people, it's so many forms, but we got to keep up with it some way. And this is one of the ways that we do it. Um, what else do we have? Look out for AALLC to come out next year. We are stepping from behind the cameras. And we are going to be visiting cities. I know they're coming to Charleston because I'm here. We're going to be in Myrtle Beach. We're looking for Florida. We're going to be in Texas. So if you want us to come to your city, let us know. If you want to come to our city, let us know. We're trying to gather and get these wonderful creative minds in one place, okay? Which is going to be crazy which is going to be fun because if y'all think we act crazy or we have a lot of fun when we're online, catch us all together. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. It's called Chasing Your Dream Book Tour and Expo. It's going to be every single one of the crew. We might not all be at the same states, but you're going to meet one of us. Okay. 
Um, what else do we have going on? Personally, myself, as a friend, we have opened up our books for season two, you guys. I cannot believe I am in a season two. If you can remember my first show, I would be talking and holding my breath, waiting for that little time and a click so I can get off. But now I'm ready. I'm excited. These authors are wonderful, okay? So we have opened our books for season two. So if you want to talk about your book, you want to talk about your brand, you might even want to talk about your editing, your publishing company. However, literacy, it actually really doesn't have to do with literacy, to tell you the truth. If you just want to hold a conversation about your brand, email me at scbookgalsandfriends and we will get you on the books. We are looking at Every Saturday, every Saturday in 2024. I am so excited. So, so excited just to meet some of you guys and talk about your book and get that energy. So remember, if you want to, is Doug is SC Book Gals and Friends at gmail.com. Okay. Last but not least, we are looking for new members to add to the crew, okay? We are opening up the books for the crew. So if you want to say, I want to do a podcast, then fine, come on over. I mean, where do you get a podcast where you get training, a producer, a mentor, I mean, you can even learn some of the graphics that we have learned. You will learn how to market your brand. Where can you get all that? Only at the crew. Fellas, if you want to talk about sports, ladies, if you want to talk about reality TV, hey, kids, if you want to talk about the newest toys, or if you're a pastor and you want to share the word of God, or even if you just want to bring on some cookies and talk cookies, I'm going to be on that show because I like cookies, okay? We're looking for six new hosts that want to share their message like it shows at the bottom around the world. It's funny when I have people come up and say, hey, you, yeah, I talk about the books. It's a lot of fun. And then we start talking more about books. Or when I get these authors and I we're talking and we're talking and we're going back and forth. And the next thing you know, I got my daughter's Kindle and I'm reading the books. Or I have my phone and I'm reading another book. I think I'm reading about four books right now. All because I met these authors on SC Book Gal and Friends. Okay? So, Again, the crew, we're looking for six new hosts. You pick the days you want to have your shows. Um, you get a mentor, which will be one of us, the founding crew. We will mentor you guys, give you hints, um, talk you through it, walk you through the process. We still have the training and everything. So think about joining the crew. If you have any questions, feel free to contact any one of us and we will share our experience. I know for me, it has been one of the best experiences that I've ever had. Okay. So you guys, that's the end of the housekeeping show. If you want any updates, make sure you catch the replay and go ahead and turn the heat on because it's cold. But you guys have a good night. Goodbye. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's really cold. I think I might need to turn my air on, my heater on. But then I might get a little bit too hot, you guys. But I'll see you next Saturday. Well, actually, I'll see you this Tuesday. Bye. 
meet the host, meet the host on Tuesday, meet the host, meet the host on Tuesday, meet the host, meet the host on Tuesday, meet the host, meet the host on Tuesday. Then on Thursday, the 22nd, we have the middle grading young adult edition. And then we have so many things going on. But you guys, you make sure you have a good night. Stay blessed. Enjoy your night. Stay warm. And just understand that we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Bye. Hey, you guys, we are having a little technical problem. So I'm going to just keep on talking to you guys if you don't have a problem with that. So we talked about all the projects we have going on. We do have a new project. It's still in the working, but we're going to do the 50 United Authors, but it's, we're going to preview it or publish that magazine in February. OK, so we're trying to get 50 authors from across the United States. OK, the goal of this magazine is to get those um, to connect readers and authors. OK, to get them both in the same spot. So the reason why we're doing 50, because we want someone to represent each one of the states. Now, you're wondering how you're going to represent a state. That's simple, okay? You can have either your home state, the state that you reside in, or the state that your book is published, or you can say it originates, okay? All right? So that is going to be $20, okay? You will get a copy of the magazine. You will get featured on Essie Bookouts and Friends. You will get a blog interview. And you'll also be featured on Aspiring Authors Magazine blog page. So that's two blog pages, a podcast interview, and a magazine, all for $20. That's crazy. You don't get that much often, Okay. So that is the Black History issue of 50 United Authors, okay? You can choose which state. Now, there are going to be states where they're not going to be an author from. We will have those states at the beginning of January, and those will be, we call it the free states. Grab one, represent it, somehow or another, because we know there are some states that will not have representation, okay? So that's one of the things that we have going on. We do have the 50 Queens project also going on. Um, that project is under Aspiring Authors Magazine, and it is um, directed by Angela Thomas Smith, okay? Um, what else do we have? Um, 
that's about all we have going on right now. So again, we sorry for the technical difficulties. We just making it do what it do. You guys have a wonderful night again. Good night. Bye.